That relaxed and rested her head. It's not the shortest route to the rest home, I said. I don't mind. I'm in no hurry. Take the time, young man. Don't worry. I looked in the mirror. Her eyes were the gleam. The witness to her soul was suddenly beaming. I don't have any family now, she said. The doctor said maybe before Christmas, I'll be dead. I asked, what's your name? She said it was real. As I quietly reached over and shut off the meat. For the rest of the night, we drove through the city. She showed me the building where she had met her first love. What a pity. We drove through the neighborhood where as new lives she had resided, past the warehouse that once was a ballroom, where she and her husband went dancing. His name was Clyde. She asked me to stop at a particular corner of the building. She got out of the cab and asked for her cane. As I gave it to her, the tears was falling like rain. As the first hint of sun was on the horizon, she suddenly said, let's go to meet my denial. We drove in south to the address she had given. Two orphans met us at the cab with a wheelchair and a river. As I opened the trunk and set her suitcases on the floor, Rita was already seated in his wheelchair by the door. How much do I owe you? She asked, reaching into her purse. I said, no, it's Christmas. What could be worse? You have to make a living, she answered. There'll be other passengers, I said. Almost without thinking, I bent down, gave her a hug. She patted my hand. Her last words to me before they wheeled her outside was, you gave an old lady a little more of joy last night. She thanked me. I shook her hand. Then then watched wheel inside by the opening. They had me a door shut. It was the sound of the closing of Rita's life. I drove off with a heavy heart like someone had stabbed me with a knife. What if she had gotten an angry cab driver who was impatient to the ship? For Christmas came to read her that Christmas Eve. I was glad I could present her with that gift. What if I refused to take the run or hunt once and driven away? I don't think I've done anything more important in my life than driving Rita around on that Christmas Eve day. We think our lives revolve around great moments, but great moments often catch us in the world. People don't remember what you did, but they remember how you made them feel and care. So, Merry Christmas to you all. Do what you can. For life may not be the party we hope for, but while we're here, we might as well dance.